Do you want to eat healthy and lose weight? Do you want to be more mindful about how you're eating? I recently talked with one of my clients and she's been focusing on just being more mindful with her eating and also getting more steps in each day. And within just two weeks, she's down six pounds. I'm not saying this will happen for everyone because all of our bodies are different and we're at a different starting point. But I share this because I want you to know that it is possible, like how important to eat mindfully and move is. And to also, she's doing this without dieting, without restricting herself. So she's no longer overeating where she feels like a stuffed burrito and her clothes are just fitting better. So is this a habit for her yet? No, but it's something she is still having to be intentional about, but it's getting easier day by day and she just feels so much better about herself. So this episode, I'm going to be talking about mindful eating and really starting to tune into your body and why this is so important when it comes to one, being healthy, and number two, if you need to lose weight, why this is such a better approach than dieting. Hi friends, and welcome to the Healthy Beyond 40 show. I'm Michelle, mama four and military wife, and I'm passionate about helping women get healthy from the inside out so they can feel better and live their best life. Do you feel like you're struggling to lose weight and get in shape? If you're ready to develop healthier habits, exercise consistently, and lose weight sustainably, then you're in the right place. I combine my expertise from my doctorate in physical therapy to my experience as a health coach, personal trainer, and yoga teacher to bring you actionable steps for a healthy lifestyle. No magic pill here, so lace up those shoes and get moving. All right, friends, I'm so excited for this topic of mindful eating today because I think it's really one of the main building blocks that we need to build on when we want to eat healthier, when we want to lose weight, is we have to really know how to tune into our body and eat mindfully. And this is one of and this is one of the key things we're going to be working on in my new course coming out, Healthy Inside and Out. And I find this so important when people really want to lose weight sustainably. So this is really key when we're are looking at our health and really finding a long-term solution for our health, not just some quick fix, not some diet. So throughout my healthy inside and out course, this is something I do with my clients, but I want to add into this course is how do we start to eat more mindfully? How do we turn into our hunger and fullness cues? How do we handle when we go back home to see our family and there's all the things that we love? So how can we start to honor and respect our body in a way that feels good? So this will be one of the many topics inside of the course, along with ways to balance your blood sugar, how to have a good relationship with food. And I think when we take this mindful eating approach, we are more likely we're going to have that better relationship with food instead of this restriction because we're tuning into our body because we need food. We need to eat. It's not something bad. And it helps to break this down. We're also going to be talking in the course about dealing with emotions and stress because I don't know about you but they definitely affect what we do or we don't do in our health and we have to learn how to deal with them. So if you guys would love to join this course, it's gonna be launching on March 4th and there's gonna be a link in the description below where you guys can take part in this course. If you sign up with that launch, I have some bonuses. So click that link so you can find out what those bonuses are. But if you're listening after, check out this page and this might be something that really starts to make the difference for you to start losing weight, feeling good about yourself, and really to nourish your body, to love your body, starting to lower inflammation, really getting healthy on the inside first before we worry about that weight or those other things, but how we can find a way to lose weight sustainably, why we're nourishing our body, and really starting to build healthy habits. All right, so some things I want you guys to think about today is, one, do you know when you're hungry? This one is usually a little bit easier for people, but do you know what hunger feels like? And there's sort of a spectrum here, so it's okay to be a little hungry. And also for some people, does feeling hungry trigger a sense of insecurity or feeling unsafe? Because for some people, depending maybe your childhood or what you've been through, that hungry feeling does not feel safe to you. And we have to start to tune into our body and break those thoughts and break 
that sense of unsafety down. And also, do you let yourself get over hungry? So instead of being to that point where you're hungry and you need to eat something, you let yourself just stay engrossed in your work or whatever it is, you get over hungry and then you're sort of binging after that because your body is reaching for those quick carbs. So really tuning into this sense of what does hungry feel like? And when is that point in hungry where I need to eat so I don't get to that famished thing where I'm stuffing any stuffing anything I can get into my mouth? So I want you guys to start to pay attention to that. The second piece is, do you know when you are getting full? And I'm talking, I link 80% full because we don't need to be stuffed because that never feels good. We should be eating to a point where we can still move after we have eight. And some people, this one's a little bit more tricky. A lot of people know what hungry is, but a lot of people have never really tuned into their body to know when they are getting full. So you have to start doing that if you want to live from a place of eating more mindfully. And number three, this sort of goes along with it, but how are your portion sizes? So if you're not doing the same level activity, you're moving less, maybe you're not exercising as much, you have less muscle mass, you probably don't need to eat as much as you used to. So can you really look into your portion sizes and start to learn your body for where it is at right now? We also want to be using that cue of when we are starting to get full, but that visual of portion sizes is going to help guide us too once we're able to really tune into our body. And as we're talking about full here, number four is how do you feel when you're stuffed? So if we're having trouble finding this 80% full is how do we feel when we're stuffed? A lot of us aren't going to feel very good. We won't want to move. So what that feels like to be stuffed and also bring that to mind. If that happens, become very aware of this. Say it to yourself. Like, I don't feel good. I feel like a stuffed burrito. I feel like whatever that is and start to speak truth to yourself. Start to allow your subconscious mind to make that connection between I ate too much and now I'm too stuffed and I don't feel good because sometimes we like sort of know that but we're really not making the connection in our more like subconscious brain. So we want to really bring that to light. How do we feel when we're stuffed? And question number five to ask yourself is, are you part of the clean plate club? Meaning you have to eat what is on your plate. You just feel obligated. Maybe you don't like to throw food away. It seems wasteful or it's just there and you have to eat it. And really start to break this down why you feel this way. So if you have been part of Clean Your Plate Club, really taking some time to journal. Obviously, that's what I also do in coaching sometimes is why am I doing this? Because if we don't break down why we're doing what are doing, we're not going to change. Can't I be okay first with one, maybe putting less on my plate if I keep putting too much on it? Or two, like totally tuning into my body and like, I thought this was a good amount, but I'm actually full. I'm going to either save the leftovers or I'm going to throw it away, depending what the situation is. Can I be okay with that? And sometimes with this, there's maybe stuff that goes back to childhood. There's a lot of deeper stuff that you might need to dig through. But if you keep being driven by this and you don't work on what's driving that underneath, you're going to keep doing it. Sometimes we can stop doing something temporarily, but if we don't really work on what's going underneath, we're not going to change that. So let me go over these questions to ask yourself. One, do you know when you're hungry and do you let yourself get over hungry? Number two is, do you know when you are getting full, like 80% full? Number three, are you aware of the portion sizes you're eating and are they in tune for where your body is at right now? Number four, how do you feel when you're stuffed and really teaching your brain that connection between feeling stuffed and how my body actually feels. Do I want to keep feeling this way? And number five, are you part of the clean your plate club? So this is more of a reflective podcast. So this is the stuff that makes the difference. And this is the stuff I work on in coaching this, and it goes in more deeper in my course. The course will have more practical tips and ways to make cognitive shifts and look at things differently Because even when we go back to see our family or we're going out to eat with people, we tend to go back into those habits where we stuff ourselves. 
But when we can start to make some shifts in our mind and look at things differently and start to respect and appreciate our bodies better, then we can start to make some different shifts and really feel better about our health and what we're eating and what we're doing. So I encourage you to take some time. I'm going to have these questions in the podcast description below and take some time to journal, talk with a friend, but put in this little bit of harder work where we're reflecting and thinking because we can take in information and information, but if we're not applying that information, we're not making changes and we're not getting where we need to be. So when I'm working with clients and in this course, there's going to be practical application. How do we apply this information? Because that is what matters. We don't really need to know all the scientific reasons for things. What we need to do is to implement some healthy habits into our lifestyle so we can start seeing those changes so that we can start eating more whole foods, so we can start eating more healthfully, so that we're no longer overeating or not knowing what to get when we're going out to eat or just feeling stressed about going out to eat because we know we tend to overeat. But really being able to step back into our body in a more mindful and intuitive way and to really respect it. I mean, just think, guys, when we are stuffing ourselves and not feeling great, do you feel like you're respecting your own body? We're not. And we have to break down why we're doing what we're doing. And we have to become aware of what we're doing to ourselves. All right, guys. So I hope that this episode made you think a little bit. I hope that you take the time to go through some of those questions, especially if one of those stuck out to you. Take some time to journal, talk it out, spend some time really letting that marinate and think what you want to do. So if you guys are interested in the Healthy Inside and Out course, make sure you check the link down below so you can learn more about that course and get signed up. Also, if you know that you need some one-to-one support, if you know it would be helpful to have someone to talk things out to, have someone to hold you accountable, to encourage you along the way so that you know what to do and you're able to work through some of these deeper things that have been going on for a while in your life, then I encourage you to set up a free health coaching call with me. There will be a link in the description and we'll go over your goals and your struggles and really help figure out what is missing. What is that next piece so you can lose weight in a healthy way so that you can start to feel better about your body so that you can start to stay consistent. All right, friends, I hope that you guys have a great day.